VR review of the Audi RS3 LMS, the touring car. This will probably be quick because I really don't like this car. The main reason being those mirrors, the uh, virtual mirrors. So it's a screen of four screens. You can see there that they're slightly staggered and they don't show me anything useful. I've adjusted them so I can see, can barely see through myself. Obviously, it's got a two screens taken up by my helmet. Uh, and then a bunch of roll cage and a little bit back there of, of rear view mirror it it just it's in the way and it cuts down the view through the windscreen to what two thirds the bottom two thirds of the windscreen only so you can't move any higher because then the steering wheel which is a full round steering wheel obscures the shift lights and that other information on your dash and if you're too low then you can't see out the front enough because the bonnet just drops away like a stone you can never place where the front of your car is so I mean the best compromise I could come up with because the dash really only has you know really only need that bar there for the shift lights but as you can see my hands and wheel are obscuring it but the amount of information happening up the top there that I don't need that really isn't useful for what's happening behind me taking up so much of my sight line is is super frustrating um, let me just park it again so yeah it would even need to be a little bit lower to see my speed if I wanted to see that and the gear indicator I'll park it here um, there's also no great spot for the the relative if it gets too high then you end up obscuring your own view uh it's limited already down through that windscreen and that sort of air vent gets in the way if you start moving it down low it would be a beautiful dash otherwise in an empty spot to put it were not for that that air vent that bloody star wars symbol trying to break through my my lap timing screen um you're sitting quite low because you have to, to to be able to see through the steering wheel so clipping at the top's not an issue turn all that off again um, and you're never really going to stick your head through that although I never like having the the mesh there because it gets in the way of the mirror um, you can't even like with a virtual mirror which you would never use both really I did try this I tried to turn off the the internal mirror views that can often save some performance in VR anyway so if we go here to graphics turn off the cockpit mirrors and jump straight back in they're still there obviously and they're black and then you can try and maybe use some of that real estate with your mirror up in there your virtual mirror but it's such an unacceptably low or narrow gap through that windscreen for a touring car it's supposed to be a road going car converted to race car so the basic dimension should be more like your yeah your Mazda 3 at home or whatever and yet you look peering through this little slit in the front just because of those stupid mirrors so just for those mirrors alone uh, I do not recommend this in VR